Let me inform you. He came the other day. You know. Oh, really? Okay, don't worry, don't worry. I'm going to take care of it. Sometimes I just feel like strangling this fool. What exactly am I? A stooge? A sex toy? Or simply a spare tire called upon only when the main tire is unavailable? Just a while ago, I was the one in that office, on that same table. What did he even call me again? What? You are a queen. A priceless jewel. Blessed be the day that I hired you as my secretary. Seeing you all the time gladdens my heart. You're saying this to me because you want to enter, right? Ah, no, 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 no. Not at all. Stop saying that you hurt me with those words. Nothing I say to you is truth and from the depth of my heart. So what's keeping you from popping the question? Why do you run away from any form of concrete commitment? Speak more, oh, baby. doing this to me you weaken me with your words and yet you actually make me feel like you don't want me or am i just your sex mate oh, no 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 speak no more Now, I am the one who is to leave. Why is he in the office with her? I am even pregnant. Have it been? Don't baby me. If I hadn't come, would you have remembered me? Oh, of course. You see, as much as I like calling you anytime I want, I need to still be guided that I don't want to call you anytime because your husband might be around, okay? Anyway, when Will I stop enduring the humiliation of being asked to wait each time I come to see you by your secretary for her to get permission from you before I can come in and see you? Come oh, on, baby. You see, as much as you're free to see me anytime you want, I want you to be guided with the fact that this place is an office. Certain protocols must be taken, okay? 
I understand. Yeah. That's my baby. Anyway, that's not why I'm here. Mm. I didn't come to this place to argue over how I get into your office. Okay. You know, it's, it's been a long time. Oh, that's my baby. Mm. Oh. Come. I'm just looking so sweet. be where well we stay in life. God will punish you and your generation. Who is this agent of devil calling me now? What? Leo? Yes, Leo. Why are you calling me with a unknown number? Why wouldn't I call you with a hidden number? Have you been taking my calls? Have you been saying anything reasonable? <sighs> I am married and you know it. Do you want to ruin my marriage? Didn't you think about that when you were busy drilling in and out of my vagina? I did not drill in and out out of your vagina bookie. It happened only once. Once is more than enough for a woman to get prego. Stop being impossible bookie. Then stand up to your responsibility. I can't father a child outside wedlock. Then it's you. I think it's high time. I went to the office. Do I need to remind you that you just knocked on my door? Um, sorry sir, I want you to tell you that we've run out of A4 papers. Um, what? Is it wrong for me to have come to remind you? Oh, no. Not at all, it's not wrong. But see, I am trying to remember the very last time you came to remind me that I ran out of A4 papers. Um, okay, it's okay, I will... Uh... Oh, Boki, get some money from the drawer, buy some A4 papers. Make sure you get it documented, okay? Okay, sir. Boki, buy me lunch on your way back. They want to Roomba. No. Let's make a tango. Hmm. <laughs> what? 
He didn't tell me he was coming. Who? Leo. What are you doing here? Bookie, what do you want? That's a very stupid question to ask. I tell you, sir, I don't marry. Uh -huh. I don't tell you. May wait till happen. If you don't mind, may wait till happen. So you don't marry and you don't know say this is your thing. Go stay one place. Eh? Bookie, I came here so we can sort things out. Okay. The only way to sort things out is for you to go get a ring and fix on this finger. It's impossible. Really? <laughs> you know what? <laughs> you. You. You didn't tell me you were coming. Michael. Are you okay? Oh. You don't seem composed. Oh, no. On the contrary. You're the one that looked worried. Actually. Am I? Uh, uh, yeah, you are. I am. Sit. Tell me. What is the problem? Michael. You're my best friend. Oh yes. That I know. And you're more like a brother to me. I'm aware of that. I believe I can trust you. Yeah. Sure. So, a woman is pregnant for me. <coughs> Sorry for interrupting you. Yes, I thought I locked oh, You obviously forgot to lock the door. <clears throat> Anyways, is Michael on set? Um, no, he had a visitor today so he left in time. Okay. I've been calling his number but he isn't picking his calls. <sighs> Alright. I'll be on my way now. I was actually closing before you came in. Um, I don't know if I can join you. Uh -huh. it, it depends if you're going my way.
next moment, she says she is pregnant. I ask her to get rid of it. But she seems bent on pounding up problems for me. That's okay. You know, that is okay. Please speak no further, okay? I understand. You don't understand. Michael, you don't understand. I don't want my wife to hear this. Is everything all right? Oh, yes, yes. Everything is um, perfectly all right, okay? You see, we need to see her at once. Yes, let's go. Is it true? Oh, he has told you. What do you really expect to hear from me? Buki, you know he's married. You can't keep that pregnancy. I can't have an abortion. And that is my own. I can't. No! Well, don't you call my name in this. I don't know you. You don't know me. Don't enrobe me into this shit. I have a wife and I love her. That's nonsense. And you have not seen nonsense yet. This is nonsense, Michael. Do you know what? You're going to take care of this baby because I'm not going to have I am not going to take care of anything. My decisions is final. No and way. And that's what I'm going to do. No way, Michael. No take it way. Leave it. No. I I've don't told you. To any abortion. No okay. way. Okay, then no. you take responsibilities of it no. on your own. No. <clears throat> you not impregnated a girl, huh? Sometimes I wonder if you're crazy. What do you want to do? Tell me. What do you want to do? I have a good mind to confront him this minute. Look at you. And give what explanation of what you're doing in my office. Be my wife. Leo, I'm not going for any abortion. I said I'm not going for any abortion. What is she doing here? Um, Leo, you see, she, she, she just came in now. Yes, she just came in. Yes. Do you, do you know? Do you know her? She's my wife. Wife? <laughs> Not that bossy. This same wife for whom you are willing to, to ignore your child? Michael, what is my wife doing in your office? Well? I sense this is the point where the old lady finally sings. Show is over. This bitch here was the reason why you had sex with me in the first place. What are you talking about? Today you came to the office and saw me touching myself. My care was with this thing in the office. It was the activity that turned me on. Leading me into touching myself before you came and saw me. Michael, you have been having sex 
with my wife behind me. Baby, tell me she's not truly really pregnant for you. Kuwagana here. If you dare call me baby again. And for how long has this been happening? Long enough for me to lose my sanity and decide to hook myself with someone else. What are you talking about? My Kaya has been having sex with me visually every day. Right here in his office. Until this, this shit devil came into the picture. You are a monster. No, how dare you? Listen, you have no moral justification whatsoever. Over me. I want to ask you one question. And I need a straight answer to it. Between Michael and I. Who is responsible for this pregnancy? 